All right, everybody. All right, this is Zane from Really Easy AI. Welcome to ChatGPT in 10 minutes or less. Here we go. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you would, please. It's much appreciated. So let's begin with the basics. Uh, ChatGPT prompting. This is how we ask questions of ChatGPT. So let's jump into it. There are three steps to success for asking questions from ChatGPT. Who? Who do you need? Why? Why do you need it? What? What do you want? So let's see an example of that. So here's a perfect example of that. Who? Well, we want an expert in project management. Why? Because we're working on building a house or we're going on a project to build a house in Texas. Great. What do you want? Give me a project plan to get the land and other resources, then build the house. So we've got our who, we've got our why, and we've got our what. Uh, so let's see that in an example. I'll show you that prompt in an example real quick. Let's grab that. And we'll come into ChatGPT and put it out in a prompt. And you can see now, it's now that we've given it the proper setup for asking it questions, it's going to give us some really nice output here. I won't let it finish for the sake of time, but you get the idea. Now, there's another way we can approach this. Same thing. Here's the who. We need an expert in algebra. Why do we need an expert? Because we need to learn about polynomials for class. Great. What do we want? We want you to teach me step by step about polynomials like you're teaching me in a classroom. So yet again, we can go ahead and grab that prompt, come into ChatGPT, I'll start a new chat, and away we go. And it begins teaching us about polynomials, kind of fun and cool. So you can use this, you know, for anything you wanna learn about, you can use this structure, it's very, very cool. All right, I'll go ahead and stop that as well. So that, uh, remember, those are the keys to success. Who, why, what. All right, so one of the biggest reasons we use ChatGPT is for summarizing documents. It's huge. And so I want to show you, uh, well, let's talk about that for a second. Uh, so let ChatGPT do the reading for you and be clear about what you want from ChatGPT and it will summarize all day long and give you some great results. Here's an example. I've got a business plan for an Oklahoma business and I say to ChatGPT, you're an expert in Oklahoma law and business plans. So we do the, the who, we do the, now we jump right into the what, because the why is actually given in the context of the document we're giving it. So you can jump right to the what. What? Give me a three sentence summary of this business plan with five bullet points on the major items in it. Then tell me if the business plan looks solid. So there we go. Let's do it. So we're going to start a new chat. There's a couple ways to upload files to ChatGPT. You can click on this little paperclip looking thing here. Or you can simply click and drag your file, like I'm going to do, into the ChatGPT surface. It will upload. You see the little white circle there. When it's done, you'll see a little piece of paper. And then you can just give it your prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and give it our prompt. And away we go. So let me go ahead and put that in there. And boom. So it's going to read the business plan pretty fast and then automatically start giving us an output, a summary of the business plan with the five points that we wanted it to give us. And it gives us an assessment as well. It looks well constructed. Very, very cool. So yes, use it to summarize your documents. It's extremely powerful for that. Now let's get into results formatting. This is where things get interesting because when you get into the what, a lot of times you really wanna play around with the what, right? So you don't have to settle for the format that ChatGPT chooses. You can manipulate the output in any way you want. Ask. All you got to do is ask for the format you want. So, for example, here um, we say we're an expert in project management. We're working on a project to build a house in Texas. Give me a project plan to get the land and other uh, resources and build a house. Give me the plan with best guess projected dates and milestones beginning from today. See, when it first gave us the plan, it gave us like one, two, three, four, five. I want best guess projected dates, milestones, and all that good stuff. So now we're asking it to do extra stuff for us, which is fine because now we're guiding it to the a little better to the what type output. So we'll go ahead and paste that. And you can see now it begins giving us a project plan in phases with durations now. Three months with the milestones, phase two, duration, milestones. Uh, way different than what it gave us before. So you have complete control over the output. You just have to be clear about how you want the output. 
let's take the um, let's take the algebra one for an example as a fun example to show you how to really mess with the output. Let's say in this case we want to do the algebra class, but we say um, teach it to me like you're teaching me in a classroom, but ask the questions like a pirate. Yeah, we're still manipulating the output at that point. So now we're going to go ahead and try that, and. There you go. Ahoy matey, welcome aboard the grand ship of algebra. So you have complete control over how this thing presents information to you. All you have to do is ask. All right, so once you've got some results, how do you get the results? That is to say, you've got them, they're in ChatGPT, but how do you get them from ChatGPT into whatever else you're gonna use them in? Well, that's pretty easy too, as if fate would have it. One way is just a straight up copy and paste. So. If you go to any result, and here's a result right here, it gave us on the polynomials. Down at the bottom, at the end of the result, you'll see a little copy button. It looks like two pieces of paper. Click on that, you'll see a checkbox. That means it's in your clipboard. You can then take it and paste it wherever you want to paste it, and you're good to go. Now, there's other options. Maybe it's doing some extra formatting you don't like, and you want it just in plain text. Well, you can do that as well, because oftentimes it'll add additional formatting you may not like. The way you do that is you tell it to give you the results in a text code block. Now, I need something to do that with, so I'm actually gonna use this demo again of the, uh, of the uh, project that we're doing here. And notice what I say at the end. What I say at the end is, give me the results in a, a text code block um, without a markdown for formatting. So here we go, I'm gonna grab that. That's the formatting that it does natively, by the way. And so by telling it to put it into a text code block without markdown formatting, um, it, will, uh, it will automatically knows what we're talking about and then we'll begin putting it in there. Now it's gonna take a second to do that. It's gonna spit it out and then come back to it. So I'm gonna pause for a second and show you the result. Okay, so after it did the initial output, now this is what it looks like in a text code block. And you see here, it's nice and plain, nothing fancy. When it's done, you can click on copy code here, copy it and paste it into any place you wanna paste it into. Very, very cool stuff. All right, um, now, another thing you can do is you can have it download the results into a document, um, or actually put the results into a document that you can download. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Let me show you how that works. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same project house prompt but this time we're gonna say, put the results into a well-formatted Word document. That's it, that's the only change we're making. We're saying, put the results into a well-formatted Word document. So now let's go back into ChatGPT, start a new chat. I'm gonna paste it, I'm gonna get it going, but I'm gonna pause it until it's done so you can just see the results. Okay, it's done. So now it's put it into a document. Here's the link, download the project plan. I can click on the link. It downloads the project plan. We can open it up and see what it looks like. Give it a second and there it is. Ta-da! Put it into a nice, well-formatted project plan. Now obviously you may want to do more to it, but there you have it. You can literally just ask it to put it into a document for you. All right, last but not least, we're going to talk about creating images because I thought that'd be fun to do. And so think about the image you want. Give as much detail as you can. More detail is better when we're creating images. Let's do a quick demo on how to create an image. We're going to say, give me an image of a white tiger surfing in Hawaii on the North Shore, making the hang loose gesture while inside a big wave. So away we go. Let me grab that prompt real quick. And we hop back into ChatGPT, start a new chat. And I will pause it while it's generating the image so that we can save time. Okay, the image is done and there it is. Now you may or may not like the image, but there is the image that it created. Now, to get better results, what you can also do, and what you probably want to start with, is get ChatGPT to help you. Get an idea of what you want, and then tell ChatGPT to create a prompt for you to generate the image. So let's do that. Same thing, only this time we're gonna say, give me a prompt uh, for an image of a white tiger surfing in Hawaii, blah, blah, blah. And we're gonna let ChatGPT do the heavy lifting for us, then we'll take that prompt and use it to generate the image. So start a new uh, session. Here we go. And it's gonna give me a detailed prompt here. See what it's doing now? Putting a lot more stuff in there. And then we can take that prompt and, and just say, give me an image of 
and paste it and away it goes. Now I'm gonna pause while it finishes up. And there you have it, boys and girls. That's it. Pretty cool, huh? Play with it yourself. I think you'll like it. We are done. Thank you for hanging out with me. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.